Hello everyone, hello! Sassy right here with more Final Fantasy 2. Um, we've played this once before on stream, it was the PSP version. Uh, I have played the PSP version, I have played the GBA version, I have not played the Pixel Remaster yet. Uh, this Final Fantasy is the one I had the least amount of experience playing, um, in terms of like the mainline games. So, hopefully I still remember everything. We are going to change the names here, though. Alright, so... Lose Sasserin. Okay, instead of Plop, we'll do... Haka. Wait, no. We'll do... Uh... Plop. Um, there we go. FF14 is amazing, so... Alright. Guy. Uh, who do we want to name Guy after? Uh, we can name him... A Sing. And Leon can be Iso. There we go. We got it. But, okay, so we kind of have a problem here, guys. We don't have a Steve, so... But no, I don't want to do that. There. Fixed. We fixed it. So in the first game, there was, um... Classes for each one? A long-lived piece. Is at an end. The Emperor Palamisha has called forth monsters from the underworld and has begun his campaign for world conquest. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's plans. That's fast. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves something. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire, but their escape wasn't over. Four youths. Leon must sleep yourself. Miss. Good job, guys. Miss. Excellent. Okay, good. Alright. Plop him, man. You did great. Iso, you got... Oh fuck! That thing's the only one that hit him, and he hit him for zero. Alright, well we're done. Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should begin consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Flynn. Fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was too already too late. His life is not in danger. His sigil strength will this sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to come complete the dreadnought they're building in Bast. Their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Where am I? Hey, so. Plop a minute? The Sane! Where are you? Steve, you're alive! I I, th I thought I thought you'd. I'm fine, Plop a minute. You seem alright too, too, Sane, but. 
Where is Iso? Princess of Finn saved us. Princess of Finn saved us. But Iso not here. I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Hang on, once it gives me control, I'll adjust the volume as necessary. So, you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there's something I must ask of you. Please, let us join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked and our parents... Our parents... <laughs> I am truly sorry, but that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nothing else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we see. Flopamet, your brother Iso is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended to your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. How's that for volume, guys? Is that better? I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You will begin your journey to Finn. That is the first step towards realizing your fate. There are no key items to learn. <laughs> You've wasted no time in using the password. Heed that well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. The Port of Paloom lies not far east of here, but a lake separates us. You won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Canoe. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies the small village of Gatria. I'm judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're gonna need all the advice they can spare. This is the Rebel Army's war room. This is the Rebel Army's war room. Oh, I can sprint. Sick. Shall I tell you about chests? The tre treasure chests contain things like items and gill. Many chests, treasure chests also hold rare items you'll not find for sale in any shop. If you're lucky enough to come across such items, hold on to them. The treasure chests aren't all gill and glory by any means. Some chests conceal monsters lurking within. There's no way of knowing what's inside a chest until you open it, but monsters often accompany especially good loot. There are many different types of monsters. Some monsters are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. For example, the undead are weak against fire, and aquatic monsters are weak against lightning. However, there are also monsters that absorb particular elemental attacks. Casting fire on a monster made of flame will heal it instead of doing damage. You can damage zombies and other undead with restorative magic like cure and items like garlic. But be careful when using spells that steal HP or MP, such as Drain or Osmos. When used against the undead, these spells can backfire and hurt you instead. Okay, alright, that's good. Key items. In the course of a conversation with someone, a particular important word might come up. When this happens, three commands will appear. Ask, learn, and key items. Select learn, learn to commit the key item to memory. You can use ask to ask people about any key terms you've learned. Keep in mind that only certain words can be learned this way. To show someone an item from your inventory, select key items. When you learn new words or find rare items, you should ask people about the words or show them what, item, show them what you found. 
Use the formation command to assign characters to either the front or re rear row of the party's battle formation. Characters in the front row can attack using any type of weapon. Characters in the rear only do half damage when attacking with anything except bows or magic. However, they only receive half damage from enemy attacks. Assign each character to the that best suits his or her abilities. A lesson on magic. There are two schools of magic, black white magic and white magic. White magic specializes in healing and support spells. For example, Cure restores lost HP and revive life revives characters who've been KO'd. Black magic on the other hand specializes in offensive spells. Blizzard deals ice damage, Thunder deals lightning damage, and so on. Characters can learn both black and white magic spells in any combination they choose. However, a character can only learn a maximum of 16 spells. You can use the forget command to remove any spell a character has already learned. Forgotten spells can be learned again, but their levels are set to 1, so use caution when forgetting spells. There are four types of armor. Shields, helms, body armor, and gloves. Shields are equipped in the same fashion as one-handed weapons, in either right or left. Since wearing a shield only requires one hand, you can also equip any one-handed weapon along with it. Should you choose, you can equip two shields, one in each hand. This makes you attack empty-handed, however. Helms are equipped on the head, gloves, and hands and forearms, and body armor, of course, on the body. Okay, Jeremy, no worries. I appreciate you offering it, though. Provided that you can afford it, you should always keep your party protected with good armor. And since you're gifting me a game, that means I'm going to be playing it soon. As that's that tends to, how I do it, to be how I do it. Unless you want me to stream it, in which case. It'll be held off that way. Just uh, skill levels, eh? Skill levels can be divided into two broad categories. Weapon skill levels and magic skill levels. But wait, there's more! Weapon skill levels are divided by weapon types such as swords and axes. Similarly, magic skill levels are divided by spell. Spells like cure and fire each have their own skill level. Attacking with a given type of weapon improves the corresponding weapon skill. As your skill levels arise, your attack and accuracy with those type of weapons will likewise improve. Casting a given spell improves the corresponding magic skill. Spells become more powerful and effective as their skill levels rise. So, would you care to hear about information displayed on the status menu? You can develop the attributes and abilities developed in the status menu by fighting battles. Attributes of strength and magic will change according to the actions you take in magic battle. If a character attacks, his or her strength and weapon skill may improve. Similarly, if a character uses magic, his or her spirit, intellect, and magic level may improve. There are 11 different attributes that can change. Would you like me to explain these 11 attributes in more detail? Sure! HP. If a character loses HP in battle, his or her maximum HP will increase. Participating in lots of battles can also increase maximum HP. If a character's MP drops during battle, his or her maximum MP will rise. Attacking during battle will increase a character's strength. If a character loses HP during battle, his or her stamina will improve. Using white magic in battle will increase the caster's spirit. Battling while your evasion is high will raise agility. Using black magic in battle will increase the caster's intellect. If a character's MP drops during battle, his or her magic will rise. As strength rises, so will accuracy. Equipping better weapons will also improve accuracy. Being attacked by foes will raise evasion. Equipping a shield will also improve evasion. When foes cast spells on a character, his or her magic and defense will rise. As you can see, it never hurts to try all manner of things in battle. There are seven weapon categories. Swords, spears, axes, staves, knives, bows, and unarmed. Swords, spears, axes, staves, and knives are one-handed weapons and can be equipped along with a shield. It is also possible to equip two one-handed weapons and one in each hand. Equipping a bow requires two free hands, but allows a character to attack with the same damaging force from the rear row of the party formation. Fighting on arms is another splendid choice and can be as powerful as any weapon. Unfortunately, equipping a shield cuts an unarmed combatant's attack power in half. So if you plan to fight unarmed, it's probably wise to just skip shields altogether. I don't know with the fleet command, am I right? You can escape from battles by selecting the fleet command. There's no point in fighting a losing battle. If a foe is too difficult, you're better off fleeing. Think carefully before you act. And that's it, guys. Nothing happens. Dual spears. That's actually an option. You can use dual spears. That, um, in Final Fantasy V, you can use dual spears to fucking destroy Shinryu. Because uh, one of the spears does bonus damage to... Uh... Anyway, one of the spears does bonus damage to... Uh, whatchamacallit there... Um... 
The dragons. This is the king's bedchamber. His majesty was grievously wounded in the fight from Finn. He's been resting here for some time now. An arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda serves as regent. You should speak with her. Wait, how does getting struck with an arrow make you feel old? One of the spheres has bonus damage to itself. Oh, also, so one trick I do know from Final Fantasy 2. I take an arrow to the gut, now I'm old. So, you remember he was talking about all these? Here's your skill levels. Um, the curiosity, do you guys want to roll the dice and have that character focus on a particular weapon type, or do you, do you care? Because normally I have Steve use swords. I could also do two per character. Um, but one thing I used to do, um, I know well uh, that I knew worked in the original game was you could uh, raise um, shield up to like ten or twelve, or which would help raise your evasion up to uh, level ten or twelve. And once you got it to that point, you were unstoppable. Nothing could hit you really. You're in the Rebel Hideout in the town of Altair. These are some giant fucking barrels, what the hell? Gordon, Prince of Cashwan, is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. The chest contained a potion. Alright, just asked him to add some flavor to the game. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the Rebel Army while His Majesty recovers. I'll have to look up a list of monsters in that, because we can try to get uh, fill out the base three while we get play through the base game. And the uh, treasure chests. I'm really excited to be playing this again, though. Um, getting to going, getting to go through the pixel remasters is awesome. I'm Paul, greatest thief in the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperials coffers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. I never steal from the rebels, you can be sure of that. My home was in Finn too. I can't even go home now that the Empire has occupied the city. This is the town of Altair. The Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far out yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time though. <laughs> I took care to the gut now I'm old and worthless. <laughs> I want a grandfather clock like that. I used to have a grandfather clock, I don't know what happened to it. If Diz was here, you might be able to tell us. My name is Gordon. I was once the Prince of Cashwan. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So you've asked to take up arms in the struggle. I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stolen here. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it. Alright. <laughs> what do we got to sell here? Alright, you sell cross, mallet. Wow, maiden's kisses are expensive in this. Potion? High potion? Oh, you can already buy high potions! Interesting. High drops and antidotes. Phoenix down. Oh wow, they sell elixirs in this. Maybe if you stop stealing everything, you can go home, you stupid git. Yeah. What's this house? Oh, this is the sanctuary. Okay. I do like that they got the uh, FF prelude playing in there, that's nice. Paul's a skilled thief, but don't worry, you can trust him. He only steals from the Imperials. Alright, so this person sells fire tomes. Fear tomes. I do want another one of these, but I think we're going to just teach them Cure for now, and then we'll go with uh, other weapons. What do you guys have even got equipped? Broadsword, bow, axe. Okay, so it's not, it's not terrible. I do want to teach all of them the Cure magic, though. Don't 
Kabul, the fellow over at the weapon shop in that weapon shop is one of the fine blacksmith. I think something's been bothering him lately, though. What could you want with me if I'm just an old man? The geezer acts just to cover. My name's Tobul, and I'm the best on blacksmith in the rebel army. Alright. I'm gonna mercilessly make fun of Paul this entire game. Alright, so we're gonna have him focus on broadsword for now. But, I, I think I'm gonna pick a separate weapon for him to focus on. Just like I want Gus there to focus on axes. But we don't really have an axe for him, so... I think we're gonna have him be, uh... Gus. Okay. Uh, same. Uh, no. So, Steve, we're gonna have your main weapon be sword, but then you have one, two, three, four, five, six versus for secondary. Uh, and spear. Okay, spear will be his secondary weapon. So, let me write this down. Steve. Sword and spears. Okay, Maria will be bow and two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, it'll be staff. Okay, bow and staff, which actually works out because I wanted her to be my spellcaster anyway. Gus will be axe and barehanded. Okay, well, there we go. Wait, you don't. Oh, it's just a weapon shop, right? Yeah. I'll pick up the spear for him later, but I do want to get everyone a shield. Okay. She just has clothes on. She doesn't get leather armor. So there's a reason, yeah, like, the, the shield is super good. Um, Alright, now we're gonna go raise up our stats. Alright, so this is what today's gonna be us, just getting our characters in line here. Uh, if you go too far, you can get obliterated, um, just so you guys know. Paul's weapon could be inconvenient kleptomania. You know, as shitty as Paul is, I think he's key to getting the best weapon in the game. Do my absolute best. Steve, sword and shield level up and bow level up. So once we get about, I don't know, 100 to 150 HP. Hey, Omega. A leg, a leg eater. Uh, one thing we can do is. So you might notice something here. She cast Cure, and it only took one MP. Uh, I know he only took two damage, but that's fine. The whole purpose here is just to force her to level up her Cure magic. See, his axe and shield level up for a same. And plop him, it's HP and magic, uh, uh, MP and magic went up. 
Hello, Omega. How you doing? So yeah, the magic's only taking one MP, and there's a reason for that. It's only level one. But as you use it and level it up, it starts costing more MP. See, like, his sword and shield have almost leveled up again. Now, I don't remember... Yeah, um, shields are really good. Okay, so I was going to tell you guys, there is a trick to leveling up your evasion really high. And it's actually functionally uh, kind of awesome in a way. And that's you equip two shields. Oh shit, I'm poisoned. That's not great. Oh, they ran away. You fucks. You fucks. Steve stank one up. I'm not poisoned anymore. Oh, okay, never mind. Made a few changes to my ration. You gave him Seth Rollins' base move set. You changed one of the Sagan finisher. Finisher, excellent. That's absolutely fine. Anyway, if you equip two shields, you raise your evasion pretty fucking quick. So, off stream, I'm probably going to be focusing on leveling magic and doing that. Leg eater. Well, I thought it's just like this massive, massive vines, and it's called a leg eater. Plop a med spirit went up. We are, however, going to be purchasing um, new magic for her to use, so she's not just leveling up here. There you go, his sword and shield leveled up again. Wait, what? Can I see? Okay, so there you go. I'm not sure how many casts of the spell it needs to level up. I know each each level takes more than the last, but oh, there's the two hornets that fled. Plopman isn't allowed to have spirit. We must break that down. Steve got 10 HP. Plopman got 5 HP. The same got. 15 HP. Heck yes. There's another way to raise HP, and that's just to beat the crap out of your own characters, if you want. Um. It is a viable strategy. You left the stomp called Earth's End. You added cross arm, cross face, calling it Mother's Love. I love it. And since I don't know, he puts one leg behind them, wraps one face or has this and shoulder kiss. His sister and <laughs> drops them on their face, called Kiss from Mother. I love it. That's good. Everyone beat up Blob. We kind of might need to do that to get her a little more HP. A Saint's Axe and Shield leveled up. By the way, guys, I want to talk about something. Excellent. Live life, love pussy. Yes. Um, I want to talk about something. Last night, I watched the Digimon movie. The, 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 the first one, Digimon Adventure movie. And the reason I want to talk about this is, for some reason, the person who ripped it, uh... 
kept the kept this at the start. Um, apparently, the show called Angela Anaconda, a show that I fucking hate. Angela Anaconda is terrible, but this show had an actual full Digimon promotion in it where the characters like all get together and go to the uh, go to the theater okay so her cure spell leveled up and they don't like just skirt around the fact that they're going to see Digimon they actually literally they drop name drop Digimon's name and and the game or not the game and the uh, some of the Digimon in the show plus they have, like, pictures of the Digimon in, in, in it. And I thought that was fascinating that... And it, it would be really cool if more TV shows would, like, promote each other in that way. That It was really interesting to see. So, if you guys didn't see, uh, her cure magic went up to level 2. Watch this. So, here, heals for more, but it also took 2 MP. So, the amount of magic or MP that your spells take corresponds with the amount of MP or level that uh, your character is. Oh shit, Plop got 5 HP, 6 MP, 1 strength, 1 stamina, 1 magic. Alright, she got a lot of stats there. And if you want an easy heal, I'm pretty sure we can just go in here. <gasps> Go in here, and then back up here. Nothing happens. Okay, no, you have to go to the end. Alright. Could have sworn you could have, but no. To the end. 22 gil. Ugh. 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 Harry Potter. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the Harry Potter games for the... P uh, for the um... GBA, uh, GB, GBC, the like the the, the the Game Boy ones, the era. All right, let's go teach her some attack magic, shall we? What level was his sword? Great, so once we get to level four, we'll we'll get javelin up a level. Let's reset our recording here.